The process of my arranged marriage is interesting in the sense that it wasn't something that I wanted and it wasn't something that I necessarily agreed to. At the same time, I pretty much knew that that was going to be the way things would be for me. Arranged marriages have long been a way to bring couples together. And while the process can be foreign to many, Netflix's new series, Indian Matchmaking, is shedding light on the practice. It highlights some issues that can often be tied to the tradition, prompting a lot of conversation in the South Asian community over the show. Rujika Dolshan was set up for an arranged marriage when she was 22. At the time, she was living in Singapore, and her now husband Paras was in Atlanta. My mom actually put me on a on a marriage, like an Indian matchmaking site, without sort of my knowledge or consent. And um, she essentially found someone for me and said, you know, I've already had a conversation with his parents and, um, you know, he seems really great. And fast forward, we ended up getting married. Almost nine years later, the couple now lives in Seattle. Richika's story is common to many Indian households, a reason why she was so intrigued by Netflix's show documenting the work of matchmaker Seema Taparia. I'm Mumbai's top matchmaker. I have very complicated feelings about Indian matchmaking. On one hand, like many, many South Asians, I'm thirsty for representation, also specifically around arranged marriages where I would actually hide that I had an arranged marriage with colleagues especially because I could see that the few times I was asked and I didn't want to lie that people would actually be like oh my gosh she must be so traditional even backward in some ways so I felt like I really needed to hide that with that in mind I actually found the show to be um, you know something that really did resonate with my experience why did you maybe approach the matchmaker while the show helped to illuminate the normalcy around Rachika's marriage for an audience that largely might be unaware she said it also magnified the pitfalls of the custom for a matchmaker the biodata is the most important tool we have Unfortunately, it reinforces some of the very negative parts of India today. There's colorism, there's casteism, there's a lot of emphasis on traditional, you know, beauty. But I think it did a really good job of illuminating how the process is generally heavily in favor of the man and how much of a challenge it is for women and how there's a very specific archetype that's acceptable and everyone outside of that doesn't really fit in. We're so conditioned to believe certain things and this is not only South Asian women we're so conditioned to believe you need to change yourself completely to fit in and that's something that I really hope women look at going through this process and, and just really reassess like do I really need to do that Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.